Yeah. But anyway, good morning, Carl. George Dunlap here. Just wanted to, you know, we've been talking about this um, this issue that's going on uh, out there, and and you and I have been doing this for a long time with the ice cream business. And what I'm trying to do with these little uh, Facebook things is just let people know that. Uh, some of the suggestions that you have found in your successful retail business, as well as your experience in the dairy, how we can uh, continue to p- provide a positive, clean environment for your and our customers. Yeah, and you know, the thing about it is, is yeah, you're old and I'm old and we've been in this business. <laughs> Thanks. We've been in this business a little while, but... Um, you know, this is this is a this is a new thing for all of us, and so I think uh, what you're doing, I think what the Nicra uh, membership page, I think those things are so helpful in helping us all to say, you know, to share what's going on, we'll share our experiences, and uh, like I told you earlier, I mean, you know, Rick Pizzi putting out the uh, thing about uh, you know their statement. Right. And I'm like, oh, man, we've been talking about it. We need to get on and do it. You know, I told you this morning, when I grow up, I want to be a, just like Rick Pizzi. Uh, and, and, you know, and there's other people that are coming up with great ideas and stuff, and, and it's fine. I mean, we're all in different areas of the country. We're in different states. And we can take these ideas and use them. So uh, I guarantee you I'm, I'm watching what everybody's saying, and if I see something that I think works for my business, I'm using it. I think, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, two weeks ago, we had some of us had talked about ways to, to, to perceive how we can move forward. And, and of course, we're seeing as of uh, Thursday, Friday and this weekend in, up in Ohio, uh, they're essentially closing down those operations that have, you know, where ga- people gather inside. And so we're seeing, like you said, uh, those operations that have drive through windows and walk up windows are in the best position to continue, don't you think? Oh, no question. No question. I mean, and we've never done it. Uh, when we first built the dairy barn, they told us we'd have to have a lane that would handle seven cars oh my. at all times. And it was just like it's not something we felt like that was necessary. Well, I'll tell you right now, we are we have a uh, walk up window and okay. we're going to start utilizing that. And then we're also going to start offering a curbside service because uh, the the management staff here at the dairy barn, uh, we sat down and we're talking just a few minutes ago and not a single one of us went out to eat this weekend. And I said, why? And it was like, everybody's just kind of on edge. Yep. So if you could go someplace and you wouldn't even have to get out of your car, then I think that you have a better chance of doing it. I mean, that's one way of doing it. And again, watching the NICRA members page and I see where people are talking about and doing it. And, uh, we're, we're going to, we're going to do that probably starting tomorrow. Going to it like a curbside service? Yes, sir. Yep. We have a walk-up window, but we thought just instead of doing that, we feel like there's going to be people that don't want to get out of their cars. Right, right. So right. so then we'll offer a curbside where people will uh, call in, order, and then when they get here, they'll call, let us know they're here, and, and then we'll take payment over the phone, and then we'll uh, take it out to them. You know, somebody brought up um, a, a good point about, you know, cash, credit card, et cetera. And one of the points that uh, was brought up is, you know, cash is a carrier of, of uh, germs. Uh, and, and, I, you know, it, it is these things you don't think about until you start to, you know, and, and, and they said, you know, an opportunity to, in, you know, for, for credit cards and debit cards. And I said, that's a, that's a good thing to say because, you know, when, when you're exchanging, you know, you want to read, you know, we as an operation want to exchange hand to hand, face to face contact to whatever degree, don't you think? Oh yeah. I mean, that's what our businesses are about, you know, touching people, right. uh, making them feel comfortable at your business, but you bring up a good point. I mean, even credit cards, I mean, of course we have a playground here and, um, I know that, uh, we're going out and we are spraying it down with sanitizer, uh, you know, at least a couple of times a day. Right. Make sure that the people feel safe when they come out. Now, if they decide not to come, I understand that. And I'm already seeing a lot of restaurants in Bowling Green that are talking about how much their business has decreased because of what's going on. And, I mean, what did I see where the CDC said yesterday? They're looking this could go on for six to eight weeks. Right, right. And so, you know, what? and because of that, we have to, you know, think about – the, the unthinkable. I mean, uh, we have to reevaluate our business pr- you know, plan. We have to, I mean, it, it has to happen uh, immediately. Now, you know, fortunately for a lot of the operations, 
they're just getting, you know, they're coming back from what I call winter vacation. And uh, a lot of them are just now in the, in the throes of, of, of opening up. And I think, you know, and those operations, we're seeing the, the large chains, you know, take advantage of their drive through windows. And I think there's no reason why, you know, our customers, our clients and our buddies, the small mom and pop shops can't do the same thing. Well, not only does it help the consumer, but it also helps us to keep employees on staff. Yep. If we're able to increase business through that part of our business, uh, you know, that's going to help because this will be over. Yep. And, and at some point in time, we will be able to look back on this and say, man, that was that was a rough one. But, you know, maybe we should maybe it was OK that it happened now if it was going to happen so that during the summer months when a lot of the businesses are in. I mean, I talked to Jim Mitchell yesterday. Yes. He's supposed to open next Saturday and he's just he's trying to figure out, man, do I do it? Do I wait? And, you right. know, each, each business has to figure out their own best right. route. Right. And, you know, all I'm trying to do is provide uh, an opportunity, like you said, to, to those people who haven't been around long enough or may not have a connection. You know, you know, number one, yeah, it's tough. Number two, is it going to be uh, expensive? Yeah, it's going to be expensive. And number three, uh, you know, where do we go? Well, none of us have answers for those. But what we can do is we know right off the bat, drive through windows are a, an advantage. Uh, walk-up windows are an advantage. Curbside service are an advantage. Uh, here in, up in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, one of the large ice cream chains, Mitchell's Homemade Ice Cream up in Cleveland, uh, they've already shut down their inside seating, and, and they're reevaluating uh, how they're going to get the product from the counter, you know, to the customer. And, and, and I think, you know, these are the challenges that, that, uh, that we all can, can work together with because, we're, you know, the industry needs us all to survive because the industry, like you, you know, you're, you're, you're one of few people who handles the product from essentially the grass through the cow, through the processing, you, you manufacture. I mean, you, you know cleanliness better than most of us because you deal with it day in and day out. You know, your cows cannot afford to get sick, so you are very acutely attuned to these needs. Yeah, I mean, and that's uh, well, that's one of the things that we're also promoting is, you know, this this milk. You, we don't have to worry about vehicles bringing mix in. Right. We now produce our own mix right here on the farm from our own cows. So so that's that's very important for us. But, you know, everybody's got a story to tell, and they just have to tell their story right. the, the, the way that works best for them. Uh, you know, you always – I would always, I always like to increase revenues, but I think one thing that we have to really make sure that we do is watch our expenses and, you know, to keep our customer base, you know, during this time, we might have to spend a little bit more money to right. do things to make everybody feel comfortable about coming into your store now and later, you know, let's not forget, we're going to be looking down the road, you know, two months, four months, six months, hopefully this will all be by and we'll be ready to ramp up and really have a good year. Well, Cole, I do. I've got about another minute here before I let you get back to milking the cows and okay. take care of everybody. But you know, again, hey, I've got a robot now. I don't have to worry about milking. The cows. <laughs> Shh, don't tell me, Don't give me your secrets away. <laughs> you know, you know the thing that, that we, you and I talked about earlier is that you know we're here to help uh, calm, calm, uh, calm down. Um, uh, we're not minimizing the issue, but you know, what, the last not. word. What, what would you say to to the new operators as well as the the old time operators? What words of wisdom do you have to help us calm down a little bit? Well, I've never been accused of having a whole lot of wisdom, but I would just say, hey, guys, this will be over, and it's going to be tough. Uh, in the meantime, just do the best you can. Uh, try to make ends meet. Uh, talk to your bank. Let them know what's going on. Yep. They understand. It's, it's in the news. Uh, if you see any place that you can cut expenses, uh, try to do that. Uh, but you know, the thing about it is, is we are all in this together. You are not by yourself. If you have a question, call some of your friends and ask them. Anybody can call me anytime they want to. I don't really consider myself an expert about anything, but I mean, I've got a little experience. This is uncharted ground for all of us. Yes, sir. Well, Carl, thank you very much for your time. I know you're very busy and uh, have a great uh, no day. And uh, keep an eye on uh, on those cows. We we got to keep them health healthy. That's right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, very much. Ciao.